All right guys, so I got the brand new unit for the KA24DE and uh, it looks pretty nice. I got the 80 amp unit. I uh, really just went with something stock because I don't need the um, 100 amp or 110, 125 amp from the Nissan Quest because I'm running stock coil packs and I'm not running like a sound system or anything in my car. So uh, 80, 80 amp, 80, 90 amp work just fine for me. Um, all I gotta do to adapt this for the SR is to drill out this little hole right here. So on the SRs, they have this stud that's threaded and basically just need to smooth that little bore out in there. I'm gonna use a 5 16 drill bit since I don't have metric. And then I just need to replace the pulley. So the SR pulleys are a little bit bigger than the KA24 pulleys. So just use a 24 millimeter on an impact. Pop that bad boy off real quick, swap it, and that's pretty much it. Um, I, I know some SR pulleys, they'll have, since this is obviously an aftermarket, was it like an ISR, I think? I'm not sure. Anyway, uh, they'll have these little notches on the back that you have to grind down, but for this particular unit, I don't have to worry about that. So just kind of keep that in mind. So let's, uh, let's get to it. All right, so after you zap your pulley back on, just make sure you don't hear any weird sounds like grinding up against the aluminum housing or anything like that. And uh, it's all set to go. It's actually a pretty cool thing that you can do. I, I like that you're able just to swap on a KA one, you know, when your SR stuff decides to take a trip to Valhalla. So um, definitely a time saver. So we're gonna see how this works out. All right, so now you should be left with something like this. Nice smooth bore that you can just take, pop that thing in. It's nice and tight still. It doesn't have a lot of wiggle room and it just works. See, you don't have a lot of, don't have a lot of play and that's good. So let's get this thing snapped. So up. something to note for you S14 SR guys, the main mounting bracket for the alternator down there has a throat of about 80 millimeters. Well, I uh, just realized that this particular alternator actually has a cast piece. This is a part of the bracket itself. Um, and normally they have a, a steel sleeve that sits in here. And that steel sleeve, you can kind of push back a little bit and then you can get it onto the bracket. When you tighten it down, it clamps down, but this is a cast piece. So you can't move it in and out at all. So for S14 SR guys, you're gonna have to take a flap disc, you know, like this or a file or something like that and you're just gonna take a little bit of this off. You don't wanna take all of it off, but just a little bit of it off. I measured it at 80 millimeters. This thing turned off, but still it's at the same measurement. And basically, as you can tell, it ain't gonna go on, right? So yeah, you gotta, you gotta, you gotta clearance this just a little bit for, for that to work. Like a champ. Just got back from taking her around the block and man it's crazy how this thing rips it's so fast but uh yeah this alternator definitely did the trick um and i, I noticed while i was putting it on as something kind of neat it had nissan on the back stamped on the housing so i guess it's a refurbished genuine housing so that's kind of neat what's cool about it is it's the auto zone unit so like if anything ever goes bad with it i could just you know take it back to auto zone that whole deal but um yeah uh if you guys are liking these quick tip slash quick tutorial kind of videos, let me know down in the comments. Uh, I'd like to make them for you. And uh, as always, thanks for watching. Cheers.